Stuart, a very warm welcome to the first Central County Ground. Thank you very much. Uh, you spent the whole of your career at, uh, at Surrey. Um, how does it feel you know, coming to a new club after all that time? Yeah, look, it's uh, it's it's different. It's it's weird. Obviously, being at the club uh, um, since I was thirteen, so uh, you get to know everyone um, that's involved. And this is this is like my first day at school, so uh, you know, it's exciting. It's new, and um, no, I, I've I've known this club for obviously quite a long time. Uh, I know a lot of the lads have played with a lot of them, um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm sure there would have been you know, plenty of interest for your signature. Uh, I guess, why Sussex? Uh, why, why have you decided to join us? Uh, a lot, lot of reasons. Um, I've always admired uh, Sussex from afar. You know, um, they've got a strong work ethic, and they've always uh, always managed to punch above their weight at times. With with um, because of that that whole um, uh, values and, and work ethic that they have. So, uh, you know, I've, I've always admired it. They're good people down here. Um, and, you know, that, that obviously plays a big part. Location, obviously, down by the sea. Uh, I've always been a big fan of, of, uh, of the ocean and, and uh, the seaside. So it's going to be nice to uh, head down this way and get some nice sunny days on the, on the pebble beaches. Um, um, but, uh, yeah, I think, you know, location, it's not far from from home in London if you know all my family and, and friends and stuff so that played a big part but you know also it's, it's an ambitious club you know uh, with um, with Dizzy here in charge it looks like that they're, they're making moves uh, to strive for um, some some real silverware and, and, and promotion in, in first class cricket so it's exciting to be involved from that that side of things and I guess as an outsider coming in obviously you, you've pl you play here against Sussex and what what do you see as the sort of current strengths of, of the club and and you know the ambitions that you feel the club should have um, in in the short term yeah I think um Without doubt, if uh, if everyone's around, we've got a fairly pacey attack, so uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be quite nice charging down the hill and then watching the fear on the batsmen as we're all sort of um, hitting them with a bit of a barrage. Um, so uh, it, traditionally, Sussex have always been very good at their white ball cricket. Um, you know, well, I suppose when I started, they were they were still quite strong the red ball. Um, but I, I see the moves that, that the club are making, obviously, to try and get back up into Division One, really sort of bolster um, sort of the, the, the first class side uh, of things. And um, uh, you know, I, I really do think it's 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 an exciting year to be involved to to push for that promotion this year. Um, and then obviously, you know, they were they were extremely strong uh, in, the, in the white ball side of things with the 2020 um, uh, last year. So, you know, if, if I can break into, into contributing in, into that team with all the guys that they have at their helm with that, um, you know, I'd be, I'd be really excited. And talking of first class cricket and, and the championship, you know, at Surrey, a huge list of fast bowlers, so opportunity has been a bit limited. I guess being part of um, the Red Bull side here is, and, and helping that side push for promotion is a big aim of yours yeah look it, um, it, it's been difficult the last couple of seasons and, and often sometimes through my own fault of, of injury and just poor timing from that side of things uh, but we do have a huge staff of, of bowlers uh, uh, also we say we it's not we anymore um, you know sorry I've got a, a lot of players on their staff so it makes it that little bit more difficult when you've dropped off um, of you know out of favor I should say um, to, to break back into that team. They, you know, it's very difficult to compete with the likes of Mornay Morkul and the, Co the Cohen brothers when they're back and um, you know uh, Ricky Clark who's a stalwart. Um, so, and they've obviously made a couple of signings on top of that. So it was, it was a natural sort of uh, move for me to say, listen, I, my opportunities here have been uh, stifled the last two years and, and I, I play this game to to play. I don't play it to watch from the sidelines and uh, I, I looked at this club and I thought there's a real opportunity down here to, to contribute uh, to some success on the field and not only contribute from uh, you know a wickets tally hopefully uh, with a couple of runs here and there um, but also to be a part of a, of a team and, and provide some some leadership. I'm at a different stage in my career now than when I obviously joined Surrey from the start, where I've got a little bit of experience behind me, and, and hopefully I can contribute to um, 
sort of their their values uh, and and how they con you know how they go about their business. Um, maybe provide a bit of a different angle here and there and um, support some of the younger lads that are obviously trying to make their way in the game. So, it, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to a different role of being involved at a club from a later stage in my career. And personnel-wise, obviously you've mentioned you know a few of the guys, I guess, from England and England Lions days and, and just the circuit. Um, you know, who are your... Who are sort of your closest connections here at the club? Well, obviously we've got the two ex Surrey boys in, in Chris Jordan and, and Laurie Evans. Um, you know, I've, I lived with Laurie for a year, so I know what he's like. Uh, and CJ, I actually lived with him as well, ironically, um, for about a couple of months, my first pre-season at Surrey. So it's going to be great to reconnect with them uh, when they're around. Obviously, they've got um, you know some some higher ambitions that they're pursuing and CJ's doing very well on the on the circuit at the moment, taking ridiculous catches. Uh, but then um, Ben Brown, uh, I played a lot with when I was uh, you know, uh, doing all the youth stuff, uh, under 15s, 17s, 19s, a couple of lines here and there. And um, uh, Danny Briggs, exactly the same, you know, we were both in the England squads fairly similar time. So, uh, but then, you know, I know all the lads, uh, through having played against them a lot uh, over the years, they've always been a really friendly bunch, um, and we, you know we've got the same sort of mindsets. Uh, they're, they're good people, and I'm looking forward to being a part of it. And then finally, what would a what would a good first season for Stuart Meeker at Sussex look like? Uh, ideally, um, you know, get back up uh, uh, with quite a few wickets back in the bank. Um, uh, but you know, mostly just to have some success, uh, contribute. Uh, in any way, shape, or, or form, I can um, on the field. Um, you know, it's not not about my my wickets column necessarily. Obviously, that's that's a byproduct. But um, it's just it's just being a team player and and contributing whatever situation uh, occurs out in the field um, to you know contributing to that that um, that that game and and um, and pushing players forward and and helping them learn. And that that to me would be. Uh, the success that I'm looking for, obviously, with some added silverware come the end of it. Well, uh, we're delighted to have you, uh, Stuart. I, I think you're straight into the gym, aren't you? So we better let you go. <laughs> no, I hope not. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Cheers, sir. Okay. Thank you.